uh, so just a quick demonstration on a very rapid boxing uh, technique for final impressions that uh, I used to use during residency that we learned. It was quick, easy, and efficient because when you're a resident, you don't have much time. And so... Uh, there's not much time in life, my friend. There's not much time in life, yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, uh, quick method of boxing and impression, whether that be uh, a full arch impression or a quadrant impression, just like this. You'll do it for a full arch too? Yes. The yeah. Yeah. masking tape? Masking tape technique. I love it. It's state of the art. Take a piece of masking tape. I'll take that. And then you just wrap it around. And the tray has to be dry, right? The tray has to be dry. Of course, it's disinfected, dried, and excess impression material is trimmed before. Okay. So what, what do you use, like a blade, an 11 blade yeah, or something? Yeah, number 11, whatever blade you have in house. Uh, okay. 11, um, 25, maybe? 25, you could use a 25. You could use a very sharp buffalo knife even if you yeah. want. And then this just happens to be a impression of a single unit restoration tooth number four seven and you always want to attach your tape onto the metal rim if you can it's more efficient than attaching it to uh, the impression material comes off pretty clean oh i saw this i remember doing this with we're just joking boxing wax and oh my gosh yeah, boxing wax is very labor intensive and oftentimes the boxing wax doesn't stick to the impression material very well. No. And so you'll get leakage. I find with this, you can see there, that. there's no leakage. Yeah, it's like pristine. And then what you do is, it's all important to trim your impression so you don't have any undercuts in there. And there you go. So just before we finish up here, you trimmed, you took your blade, this is how you yeah. cleaned it up, just to make sure, and you know, honestly, that's a great idea. So you always want to trim, you don't want to distort your impression at all. Minimal pressure to remove. Yeah. Otherwise, if you had a big undercut right in here and here, then it'd be very difficult to remove. I live that. And that, that's it, nice and, then, and easy. So, like, a, like I said, you could use it for a full arch. Yep. Yeah. Uh, maxillary, mandibular, and also, I use it also for, um, my complete denture cases as well. Really? Yeah. We'll have to see that next time. Next time, yes. All right, yes. thanks, man. All right, thanks. Cheers.